When it comes to servicing troops in extremely inaccessible high altitude zones, the Cheetah helicopter has no competition. If not for the Cheetah, maintaining troops in the world's highest battlefield may have been impossible for India. Chita makes more landings at 20,000 feet in the Siachen Glacier than any other helicopter. Seeing it soar effortlessly over these ridges and landing smoothly on top of ice pillars, barely 10 feet by 10 feet, it may be hard to believe that this is a chopper designed way back in 1957. The Cheetah is the Indian name for this French Alouette 3 helicopter. It is a lightweight, basic flying machine which does not have a pressurized cockpit. Yet, this simple machine allows its pilots to perform daredevil acts. And it was essential during the 1999 Operation Vijay in Kargil and the ongoing counter-insurgency operations in many parts of the country. In today's world, in today's battlefield, the number one priority of a pilot is to avoid detection. Indian Army aviators are capable of NOE flying or nape of the earth flying to avoid getting noticed by the enemy. NOE flying involves helicopters flying at very low heights, closer to the ground. What we call hugging the earth. Nape of the earth flying requires a high degree of mastery in flying and maneuvering a chopper. NOE can enable a helicopter to sneak in up to the enemy and just come up and surprise it. The pilot flies following all the contours of the landscape below, be it hills, buildings, trees or water bodies. This way, the enemy finds it difficult to spot the helicopter as the enemy radar confuses the helicopters as part of the landscape. You hide yourself by entering nalas, you hide behind trees, you make use of the mountains and basically all the falls in the ground. When you are flying close to ground, you are subjected to a gush of adrenaline in common terms. Basically because the ground is passing at a very rapid pace under your feet and you are constantly fighting with your controls to follow the terrain. Flying is be high and be safe. However, the Army Aviation uh, is closely knit with the ground troops and our helicopters and our pilots need to fly low. Here, the advanced light helicopter, Dhruv, is carrying out a nape of the earth flying mission. The advanced light helicopter named Dhruv is an indigenous helicopter developed and produced by Hindustan Aeronautics. ALH, Advanced Light Helicopter. Basically, it's one of the machines which can take the man and machine which can both go to the extremes. You can make extreme banks, you can carry out maneuvers, you can go extreme dips. This aircraft can take a lot of load, the blades, everything. This is basically meant as one of the most maneuverable aircraft.
The Dhruv is a multi-role, multi-mission helicopter. It is considered a highly safe helicopter and can even fly on autopilot. This aircraft is equipped with IADS. It's got four LCD screens which display, which tell you about all the engine parameters. Its onboard digital systems capture and relay a wide range of flight data to the crew, including a small chipping in any part of its body. It has got two computers inside. Everything is dual in this. If one goes bad, the other is there to back it up. Equipped with twin engines, the Dhruv can remain airborne even if one of its engines fails. Primarily designed for easy maintenance and uh, is one of the most finest machines that we have got. And uh, the endeavor is to carry out the activities uh, so as to keep the aircraft safe in the sky. And the pilot is able to dedicate his focus towards the mission, uh, especially required during high altitude flying. The Indian Army deploys ALH Dhruv for dropping special forces behind enemy lines during wars. Carrying out Gazavak on stretchers, combat, search and rescue operations, dropping supplies, stores and heavy equipment in the battlefield. It can carry 5.5 tons. At low altitudes, this chopper can carry up to 12 soldiers along with its two-member crew. This aircraft is one which can fly in extreme dark phase. You don't need any kind of external light or some kind of moonlight. You can take off, land, you can carry out all kind of operations with no light at all. The seven-seater Chetak II is a multi-role helicopter Equipped with an instant starting mechanism, this chopper gets ready to take off in less than a minute. Well suited to fly over plains and deserts. The Army deploys the Chetak for search and rescue operations aerial reconnaissance and for troop transport. 